In React, the event handlers allow you to call a function and trigger an action when an element is clicked, input change, or something else. Handling events with React elements is very similar to handling events in DOM elements, with some differences. React events are named using camel case rather than lower case. With JSX, you pass a function as an event handler rather than a string. Another thing is if you want to prevent default behavior, you need to do it explicitly and you can't just return false, like in plain HTML. In this case, E represents a synthetic event, which behaves differently from native event, and it was introduced to fix the compatibility issues between the browsers. Let's look at some examples of how we can use the onclick event handler in React. I'll create a hello function, which we can call on our click event, and I'll just alert hello from it. Now, let's add a button that will call this function. This button will have an onclick event handler attached to it, pointing to our hello function. Doing so will trigger the function every time you click the button. In order to trigger the function, pass in the name of the function you want to call inside the curly braces after the event handler. And that's how we handle click events. Common mistake is to call a function with parentheses, which will trigger the function every time the component renders. If you want to pass an argument to your function, you would call it from inside of inline function. And then obviously, here you can catch it in your function. And we just made it dynamic. Common mistake with this approach is that people forget to include the parentheses, which is required in an inline function, unlike the first approach, in order to execute it. If you want to call multiple functions directly from the input handler, you can do that. You need to define the block of code in onclick handler, and inside of it you can do the same things as from function. Although readability is a big concern here. And that's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe and I see you guys in the next one.